Amani uh, Scott, what's the name of the book you're reading? African History for Beginners. Who is it by? Her boy. Okay, what page are you reading? Page 31. Okay, let me see what's going on. Langston Hughes, a great poet of your time, has provided a most fitting preface, what? preface of the, this glorious African dawn. I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood in human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed. What? Bathed. You bathed when you took a bath? Bathed in the your Euphrates. What? That one's Euphrates? Euphrates when dogs were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it looted. Lulled? Lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. My soul has grown deep, like the rivers. In our next meeting by Ogun's fire, I will tell you about the marvelous civilizations from which we all descend, about Nubia and Kush, for it is from Napta. Napta. And, <laughs> and Napata. Napata. And uh huh. Meroe. M Meroe. Napata. <laughs> and wait, that the earliest glimmer of refinement. Of what? Refinement. Okay. Refinement and technology first emerged from these vistas. This does, my children. It is only a short journey up the Nile to the Sem Seminole. Seminole Grandeurial? Grandeur. Grandeur of Egypt. Good job. Now, I just need you to give me a quick summary of what you have read. Un what have you just understood from this? They were telling us about, like, a. P Telling us about a poet that poet by the name of Langston Hughes, uh huh, a African poet that tells about Africa, the the pyramids, and and the. And about the Nile River. Okay. And what particular set of people are they talking about? Africans. And what what is is the general color of Africans? Black. Good. So you understand that these things like what technology? Technology. Give me other examples uh, examples of things that started in Africa. Science. What else? Math. Uh huh. Reading. Okay. Writing. Wow. What else? Spanish, because <laughs> first they learned Spanish. All languages come from the original click language. Really? Yes, all languages are from the Khoisan language. The people in South Africa, the short little Chinese looking people mm -hmm. with, with nappy hair, they say the gods must be crazy. Those are the original people, those are the first mothers and fathers of planet Earth. All people descend from those little pygmies, the simplest people on today's modern world. So you, were. so what you're saying is that um, our ancestors first learned the language of Spanish, French, and um, etc. All tongues come from an original mother tongue, okay. and if there was any place on this planet Earth where mother tongue was spoken, mm -hmm. it had to originate in Africa, and we had a sub civilization called India. So, um, so why is everybody saying that Spanish? Or should I say a parallel civilization? I don't even want to say a sub because I'm making it sound lower. Yeah, what'd you so, say? So, um, why is everybody saying that Spanish came from Spain, which is short for Spanish? 
I don't know the origins of Spanish. I know it's predominantly spoken in Spain. Every nation or every tribe went their own direction, mm -hmm. and they spoke their own language and settled in a certain land. Okay. So maybe Spain originated there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe the Spanish language. Yeah. Uh huh. So why? I know why, but I want you to tell me why the language was being changed. According to the biblical story, the language has changed because people were trying to build a tower to heaven and God didn't like it. So his agents came down or his angels and made the people speak a different language. This is the story of the Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. And Babel just means Bab or doorway to El. Is that where Babylon, the word, um, the, the civilization Babylonian came from? Yes, Babylon was built on the ash, on the rubble of Babel. Babylon is the empire of false religion. Yes, that's one interpretation of Babylon is the empire of false religion. But historically, there was a city called Bab El, and it means doorway to God. Oh. That's where they wanted to build a stairway to heaven. If you go back to the ancient Indian teachings, they explain word for word who these people are. His name was Ravana, also known in the Bible as Nimrod. He wanted to build a gateway or a ship, or a literal stairway to the heavens. And apparently, some beings didn't like that and came down and changed our language. Now, other people take it to a whole nother level. They say that at the time, we wasn't speaking material languages. We were speaking spiritually or with our mind power. You understand? And that's when humans started speaking with their tongue. That's when we fell and separated. So you did a good job, Amani Scott teaching us and this is what your teachers are going to see this is the video that your teachers are going to see so that they can know that you're reading beyond the level of what you're doing in school and I'm not I don't like what's going on in the public school system straight up yeah. what it affects um even though he's an our cousin what it affects um us because we we're learning something totally different and how they change in um, who we really are. Like, they saying that, um, that we didn't make, um, literature, math, and English. They can never tell you that. You know it's a lot. They keep saying that, that it was, um, the Aztecs, like Mexicans, that, um, Ooh. created that. Ask them where the Mexicans came from in the Aztecs. The, they said that the Aztecs, wait, wait, they said that the Aztecs created, um, the clock, which is math, the Roman, um, numerals, and um, reading, reading Every, skills. We hear this now. Every race has given a contribution mm -hmm. to the things that we have today. Ew. No one race is more important than the other when it comes to the contributions that got us to where we are today. Okay. The Mayans, the ancient Mexicans, all of those people, yeah. they had the science of time down to a T. They had, their math was precise and it was aligned with stars and constellations. Mm -hmm. So they... The door. So they knew about that aspect of math. That can't be denied. Okay. But to know where all sciences come from, all math, I don't care what they tell you in school. Everything you are learning in that school is a lie designed to keep you separate from your ancestral line. Could be good day, so then I asked my social studies teacher why don't they talk about why don't they talk more about um, black history? And she said, um, I can't tell you that because that's against our um, school's teaching. Whoa. So what does that mean? That means they don't let you, that means they, no, um, they keep it in back. They don't yeah, they tell you about keeping it a secret. You know why? Because they, they don't, don't want you to know. No, it goes deeper than that. They don't want you to know your history. Okay, it goes know. deeper than all of that. And they don't want to kind of, um, racist. About it goes no. more than race. No, and they, they don't, don't, they just, they just want everything to be white. It goes beyond that. And I don't want you to know about who you really are so you could um, go back and teach your kids. kids. Y'all saying the same thing? Your kids. Every answer y'all give is right. But I'm going to tell y'all the realistic answer for this day and time. We're like black. The realistic answer is like black. it's better for you not to have an education so that you will turn to the streets and continue to feed the prison system. This is why I emphasize education to the children. You are worth nothing to them as a doctor. 
but you're worth a lot in jail. And I'm leaving it at that.